All right, Shalom. We want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baal Shem, Rachel Kadash, Double Line City Apostles, the Elders of Great Millstone, and say, to all the hopeful elect that's pushing out this word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe <laughs> or the earth, you know, like I said, the flat earthers. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to get into a quick let, uh, Lord willing to be a quick lesson, you know, however the spirit flows. Uh, we're going to uh, get into bearing the indignation of the Lord, you know, um, because I was watching, um, what was the, uh, the Ice Cube joint, you know, when they was, uh, damn, it, 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 the title slipped my mind, but they was talking about something, if God loved us, why are we going oh, through this? We are boys in the hood. If God, if God loved us, why we got, why are we going through all this? He don't love us, you know what I'm saying? And so, and that's how a lot of, that's the mindset of a lot of our people that, the Most High don't love us because of the things that we're going through, the condition that our people is in. Which when you read the scriptures, you know, you understand why you're going through those things. You know what I'm saying? And then and then you start to understand that the Lord... Matter of fact, what's that? Micah. Uh, yet you say, wherein ye have loved us. Oh, that's Malachi. Yeah, Malachi. That's a lot of me. Get that for me. Yep. This is uh, the book of Malachi. And yeah, you get Micah. It's, uh... The seven and nine, the brothers. This is Malachi chapter one, and I'm gonna start at verse, verse two. I have loved you, said the Lord. I'm gonna start at um, verse one. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi, Malachi uh, one verse two. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet you say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord. Yeah, I love Jacob. Right. Yeah, so Jake, a lot of our people, they try to say that the Lord don't love us, man. When the proof is in the pudding, you know, that he loves us, man. The fact that we still here, because what? We was the ones that made the covenant with the Heavenly Father. We agreed pretty much that if we do these things, and it, it, then we're going to be blessed. But if we don't do these things, we're going to be punished for it. So who are we to, to come up against that? You know, and he chose us over, over Esau. Now, now us being punished for it, now you want to complain about it. You know, the punishment that the Lord put us through is from for thousands of years of defying the Heavenly Father. You know, worshiping idols, uh, killing the prophets, you know, when they try to correct you. You know, Though that, so, so when you get punished for it, first of all, and he punished for what? He punished us in, almost uh, immediately. You know, instead of, of how he do the, the, the heathens, where he let them build up their sins to where he can completely fuck them up. You know, but Jake don't want to understand that, you know, and then you and then you constantly persist in defying the Lord to this day, eating all abominable things, doing abominable things. You know, our people are homosexuals. It'd be them type of people that, that talk to uh, murderers, drug dealers. These are the niggas that want to talk and say the Lord don't love them, man. When they keep doing things that's wickedly, you know. But but us brothers, we come we come back to this knowledge. We understand that that why are we being punished, man? And that's why we had a mindset of bearing that indignation. We understand the Lord's righteous anger, so we're gonna deal with it because we we was off. Preacher. All right. It's a okay, quick quick preach. Mm -hmm. It's Hebrews twelve and six. It says, "For whom Yahweh Bashem El Shai loveth, he chasteneth and scourges and scourges every son whom he receiveth." Yeah, right. that 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 comes with understanding. We understand when we get in our ass kicked. You know, in the world you'll be like, Lord, Lord, why me? Why me? But in the truth, we understand why. You know, we understand why we've been testing because that really means He loves you. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one point. Yeah, that's why He's doing it. Because if He don't do it, then you just bastards. He just letting you alone to to uh, being a you're gonna be a child left to yourself. Well, you're going to be doing whatever you want, and that's just going to get you into more trouble, man. You know, so, hey, Lord don't think the way we think, man. You know, but ultimately, like we said, we understand why the Lord's doing it. Like, say, if you got to, <laughs> hey, we the Lord's woman, right? You know, and he took us back. So after you've been humbled and shamed, now you, when you come back, after he took you back, you, you understand, all right, well, well, now whatever he say, well, I'm going to just deal with it because I know that he right. You know, that's the mindset that you want to be in. You know, but uh, get the, the one in Micah. Uh, it's uh, Micah 7 and 9. It says, Therefore, it's a lot. 
This is uh, Micah 7 and 9. It says, I will bear the indignations of Yahweh by Shem I was shot because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I will sh and I shall be and I shall behold his righteousness. Right. Hey, he said he's going to bear the indignation of the Lord because we sinned against him. Hey, it's the Lord who uh, delivered us out of Egypt, man. You know, while we was crying to the Lord, and he delivered us, man, from that bondage. Then made that covenant with us, you know, and we broke his covenant. You know, we broke, we, we, we was unfaithful to the Lord, you know. Hey, he, that's like, uh, uh, <laughs> you, 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 a famous, top famous Jake, you know, and you pick up this girl from the streets and then you made her everything she is, then she cheat on you, man. Right. Cool. You know, that's what, that's what Israel did to the Heavenly Father. Slide, I mean, oh, okay. I thought you had something to say. Yeah, I got a quick preset. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Amos chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right. Oh, you can break it down, brother. Come on, come on. You know, like the brother was saying, uh, you know, the Lord brought us out of brought us out of Egypt. You know, and we're the only people that he's ever, that he's dealt with, and because he loves us, he's punishing us for our iniquities. Iniquities. He's chastening us because he because he's actually dealing with us as a people. Right. The scriptures talk about uh, you know when you raise your you're supposed to raise your own child up in the way that they should go, and and the way you sometimes you're gonna have to. Uh, apply the rod to them, you know, when they go off. And that shows that shows love. You know, without doing that, showing showing it's showing uh that you neglecting them. You know, letting them constantly go off. You know, you're not you're not correcting them and it so that means they're not learning. You know? So the most high is gonna uh beat us so we can learn from our mistakes. You know, he's trying to uh uh make us perfect. You know, which ultimately ultimately we know all yeah, of Israel is not going to become yeah. that. So He's only doing it with the elect right now. You know, that's why the elect is the only one that understand. Right. Yeah, and he said we the only family that he known. Right? You know, so all, all these other nations, he he pretty much the Lord made us jealous with the people that was no people because we tried to make him jealous with a, a gods that were no gods. You know? But he judging us because he knew us. You know? He don't deal with the other nations that way. So in a sense, when we afflicting them, when he afflicting us, it's a good thing. <laughs> you know, we uh, the, uh, we did last week on the way to camp, we did the video uh, with much uh, stripes comes much healing. I don't know if that's the exact words of the title, but if these stripes, it comes with healing, man. But that doesn't mean that the Lord doesn't love us. You know, case in point, get this scripture. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 63, and I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, in all their affliction... He was, in all their affliction, he was afflicted, and the angel of of his pr presence saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them, and he bared them and carried them all the days of old. Right. It said, in all their affliction, he was afflicted, man. So when we was going through these things, the Lord, it, it hurt the Lord to do that. All right? Just like you got, a, you know, brothers got children. You know, you got to beat your child when they going off, man. So they may know why they doing that thing. The brothers that mentioned that earlier, you know. And what, what, what they, was the classic uh, black parents, <laughs> so-called black parents uh, line. What is it, brothers? It hurt me more than it hurt exactly, you. Exactly, man. It hurts the Lord more than it hurts us. But it was necessary, man. It was a necessary thing. So you, so, and then when you come to age, that's another one in, um, Hebrews said that it wasn't joyous for the moment, but afterwards it's going to um, yield that peaceful fruit of righteousness. When you come to age, that's when you you start to understand. Right. You know, that's when you start to understand that. Damn, I understand why they did that. You know, so that's the mindset that we came in now. You know, when we was a child, we thought like a child, but now we put those childish things uh, away from uh, behind us, man. You know, we put away that weak nation. We understand why the Lord did has done these things and continue to do these things unto us, man. Right. You know? Yeah, I was going, 
I think I think it was like an old video of the uh, oh, spirits. the elders of, of DC, and uh, the the elder Kasat was talking about how he used to get bullied. He and, like he used to get he used to get bullied, you know. But he said he pretty much now respects his bully because wow, his bully made him stronger. You know, he 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 understood his his trial. He well. When he got older, he understood his trial, you know? This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 7. It says, If ye endure chastening of the Most High, if you endure chastening, the Lord, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Read that again. This is Hebrews 12 and 9. Furthermore, we Read have... Read uh, 8. Okay, this is Hebrews 12 and 8. But if, ye be, but if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Verse 9. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, yeah. which, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Right, so you had fathers of your flesh, which uh, corrected them, which corrected you, but you, and you gave them reverence. You gave them respect because of that. So why, when the Heavenly Father does it, it's an issue. Right. You see what I'm saying? Keep going on. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Yeah, shall we not be rather be in subjection to the Father of Spirits and live, man? You know, because why? He's doing it for a reason. You know, and that doesn't mean that he doesn't love you, man. Can you get uh, Isaiah 53 and 10 real quick? You know? I think it's Isaiah 53 Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? He loves us so much so that he's, what? Scriptures, what Christians want to say, you know? He sent his only begotten son and the Lord to what? I mean, uh, he sent his only begotten son in the world... Yeah, get that real quick and then get that. This is St. John yeah. chapter 3, verse 16. It says, For the Most High so loved the world, the world of Israel, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Right, should not perish, but have everlasting life, man. So even after all that, man, even after all the, 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 the we, we played the harlot on the Heavenly Father, He still sent His only begotten Son that we may not perish, man. You know? After all that. But you want to say that the Lord don't love us, man. You know? You, you, you pretty much, you played the harlot, you spit in His face, you disgraced the Heavenly Father, man. And the scriptures say, what? You, he's broken with our whorish heart. So we hurt the Heavenly Father's feelings pretty much, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the scriptures say that the most high is jealous, you know, and jealousy is a rage of a man. Shit. Hey, the most high is very merciful. I can't imagine, you know, a woman I'm in love with cheating on me, man. I break her neck. It's like, hey. Nah, on some real shit, but that's how you feel. You yeah, know? Yeah. And it, and but yet the Lord, it's that's why we bear the indignation of the Lord, because we understand. That's why, hey, this go hand in hand with acknowledging your offenses, man. Acknowledging your faults. You know, Hebrews, I mean, not Hebrews, Hosea 5 and 15 said what? He's he going, pretty much rough paraphrase, he's going to go away until we acknowledge our faults, man. That's why the Heavenly Father not present. Well, he is present, but, you know, he's not showing his power like he did back in the ancient world, man. Because cause, cause, cause he, he wants us to have that faith. You want to be unfaithful? Now you got to show me your faith. As it was your mind to go astray from him, as being returned, seek him ten times more. Uh, get out there 53, y'all. Then you get a little bit of time. Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 53 and verse 10. It said, Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put he hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of Yahweh shall prosper in his hand. That's right, man. So, hey, his only begotten son, it said, what? He pleased the Lord to bruise him, man. You know? It pleased the Lord to bruise him, man. That's how much he loved us, man. That his only begotten son, who did his will perfectly, 
<laughs> you know? It pleased him to bruise him. What Yahweh Shah said, man, if it was any other way, any other way, you know, take this cup from me. Mm -hmm. And what? He ain't answering him, man. Because this is the way. This is my will. I want to I want my people not to perish, man. And it was nothing special that we did. You know, it was nothing of ourselves. We was not the biggest nation. He made us into a nation. He nourished us, man. You know? He, he, man, Jake, man. He got the nerve to say that the Heavenly Father don't love us, man. Hey, him giving us back this knowledge. Because it was stripped from us. And he gave it back to us when we seemed that hopeless. You know? But you want to complain about what you're going through, man. You know? Peace of free, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is um, this is Second Timothy, chapter two, and I'm gonna start at um, I'm gonna start at verse, yeah, verse three, Second Timothy two and three. It says, "Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach." It says in verse four, "No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may." That he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. You know, and that's just speaking about, you know, the Lord calling us out of uh, the world, you know, bringing us in to this knowledge. But at the same time, we still have to endure the indignation because, you know, that's our shortcoming in the flesh. But the Lord still has mercy on us and he still guides our path, you know, back to righteousness and right. back to understanding, you know, while we're being put in um, a punishment and, and being... In certain predicaments, you know? That's right. right. Because, cause, hey, that's why, hey, you, you, you endure as a, a soldier because you're pleasing him that chose you, man. Because what? You love in this world, you're entangling yourself with the ways of this world. That's what the Lord hates. He clearly told you what he hates. Love not the world. All right? Now, when you loving the things of this world, entangling yourself with that, then there you go being unfaithful again, man. Right. You know, so hey, you got put put away your, your lust of the flesh for a while, man. It's just that simple. That you, the Lord allowed you to do what you do what you was doing in the world, and it said in the times of ignorance, the Heavenly Father winked at. But now He commanded all of us to repent and come back unto Him, man. So that's what you need to do. All right, go ahead, Doc. So, it's a uh, Sirach, I mean, it's a lot, yeah. uh, Leviticus twenty six and forty, and it reads. If they shall confess their iniquities and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass. Uh, let me read that again. It's uh, Leviticus 26, 26 and 40. It says, if they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which, which, which they trespass against me, and that also they walk contrary unto me. Yeah, keep reading uh, uh, down to 46. Right, but that's it's going to like, go hand in hand with acknowledging your offenses, man. Keep going. And he says you should acknowledge your offenses and your trespasses and that you walk contrary unto the Heavenly Father. Keep going. And that I also have walked contrary unto them. He walked contrary unto us because we was walking contrary unto him. You know, can two walk together except they be agreed? We wasn't aligning ourselves with his will, so all right, he became an enemy to us. Keep going. And have brought them into the land of their enemies. Mm -hmm. And then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled. And they then accept of, of the punishment of their iniquities. Right. You got to accept the punishment of your iniquities. See? You know, when you, when you, now you know that we, it's like, now you know when you got humbled, man. He put you in the land of your enemies. You know, when you're getting beaten down. Now you got to think, then why am I in this situation, man? You know, read that verse again up. Verse 41, it says, And that I also have walked contrary unto them, and have brought them into the land of their enemies. Mm -hmm. If then their uncircumcised heart be humbled, and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquities, then will I remember my covenant with Jacob. And right. right, right. Then will he remember his covenant with us, man. Once you, once you acknowledge, <laughs> why are you going through these things, man? You know, why you when you accept your punishment, man. Check out a problem with accepting their punishment, man. Cause right. they think that they did something like they they like they innocent and shit. You're not innocent. But keep going, though, I. Uh, and have 
Then would I remember my covenant with Jacob, and also my covenant with Isaac, and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember, and I will remember the land. The land also shall be left of them, and shall enjoy her Sabbath, while she lieth desolate without them. That was the point. That's cool. You good. Uh, give Job the second chapter, because right. when he said, when he was talking to his wife. Come. This is Job 2 and 9. Then said his wife unto him, Doest, oh, slack. Yeah, yeah. Job 2 and 9. Then said his wife unto him, Doest thou still retain thy integrity? Curse the Most High and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What shall we receive? Good at the hand of the Most High? And shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. That's right. So he, he said, What? Should we, should we get good and not receive evil? You know? And he said what? He did not sin with his lips. So what he said was correct. You know? You think you're just going to get the good. It's just, everything's always going to be good. So you when it, you can just accept that. But when the, the, the heat come on sometimes, you don't want to accept that. You know? When that's still your Lord, your master. You got to know, you gotta know uh, the hand that's feeding you, man. You know? That, uh, was that in that part? What was, it on that? Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Job. 34, yeah, yeah. This is Job 34 and 31. It says, Surely it is meet to be said unto the Most High, I have borne chastisement, I will not offend any more. Keep going. That which I see not, teach thou me. If I have done iniquity, I will do no more. Come on, come on. Read, read both of them again. So like it. This is Job 34 verse 31. Surely it is meet to be said unto the Most High, I have borne chastisement, I will not offend anymore. It says good is meat, which is or meat or good to be said that he's born chastisement and he will not offend anymore. So that chastisement is going to make you say, all right, that, I don't, I don't want to do it no more. Keep going. Verse 32, that which I see not, teach thou me. If I have done iniquity, I will do no more. Right, that which I see not, teach me, man. That's what the conclusion that you should come to. Right. You know, like damn. If it's something that I, I don't know, teach me, please. Right. You know? If I offended you, I would do it no more. Yeah, and that's 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 shows that shows humility, you know, and not accepting your thoughts is is the opposite, which is pride. You know? Yeah, and that's that's one of the seven things that the most high hate is pride. You know, if you can't own up to your thoughts, you know. You got you to examine yourself and check that, you know, because you, you, a lot of brothers can could be coming into the truth with a lot of pride, you know, and you just got to understand that's your old man, you know, that you got to shave off. It ain't, it's not nothing to beat yourself up about, you just, you got to correct it, you know, or the most high going to correct it. You don't want that. Mm -hmm. uh, get Lamentation 1 and 18, okay. and hold 3 and uh, 22 as well. This is uh, Lamentations chapter 1 and verse 18. It says, Yahweh is righteous, for I have rebelled against his commandment. Here, I pray you, all people, and behold my sorrow. My virgins and my young men are gone into captivity. Read it again, Yeah, this is Lamentations chapter 1 and verse 18. It says, Yahweh is righteous. For I have rebelled against his commandment. Here I pray you, all people, and behold my sorrow. My virgins and my young men are gone into captivity. Right, he said Yahweh is righteous, man. Even though his, the, the, the virgins and the young men went into captivity. He said, because what? You rebelled against his commandments, man. So that's it. You start to understand, even though you're in that condition, the Lord is still righteous. And all his in all his ways and all his judgments, man. You know, I think it was Lamentation three and twenty two. I think. Let me see. Yeah, three and twenty two, and then jump to thirty nine. Okay. This is uh, Lamentations chapter three and verse twenty two. Hey, uh, what this, what's the time on that? Uh, six minutes. Yeah, this is uh, Lamentations three and twenty two. It says it is uh, it is you of the know. Lord's mercies. That we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. 
It is of the Lord's mercy that we not consumed because his compassion yes, fell not. That's what the brother was talking about. The Lord is very, very merciful, man. You know? We are God's. We did? Come, come. Alright. Hey, read keep going, huh? Okay. Well, read that again. Okay. Yeah, uh, Lamentation 3 and 22. It says, It is of Yahweh's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fell not. Right. We not consumed because he fell not. And what? <laughs> hey, that's why if the Lord changed not. Therefore, we are not consumed. Because what? He chose us and he already gave us that promise. Before we did, before before uh, we even got the laws, man. He gave us that promise, man. And he, and he kept his word. All right. Now jump to verse 39, huh? So then you just get 50. 23? Yeah, yeah. not 51. Isaiah 51. This is uh, verse 39. And he... It says, Wherefore doth a living man complain, a man for the punishment of his sins? Yeah, wherefore does a, a, a man complain for the punishment of his sins, man? You know, keep going. It says, Let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord Yahweh. Right, you're supposed to search and try your ways, man. You know, scriptures, hey, David said, Try me, Lord, see if there's any evil thing in me. You know? And when you're being tried, what? Certain things are going to happen to you. You know? To get them damn impurities out you. Alright? Was that it on that? Uh, you can't answer it. Uh, what, what verse was that? Huh? Uh, 40, 41. Read verse 42. Come. Yeah, this is verse 42. It says, We have transgressed and have rebelled. Thou hast not pardoned. Right. We have transgressed and rebelled. Thou hast not pardoned. You know? So hey, that's that, that's that's righteous, man. That the Lord didn't part it, cause it says before I, uh, Psalms one one nineteen. I always get, you know, but pretty much before He chastises us, that's a, that's when we learn. You know, I'm I'm gonna write in the comments, cause I can't think of it right now. <laughs> you know, but uh, we just gonna close. We about to close. So get Psalms one thirteen. But the, the scriptures say that His and this, what the brothers gonna read, that our iniquity separated us from Him. You know. He gave us the laws that, that made us uh, uh, attached to him, man. But our iniquity separated us from him. You know, get Psalms 103. <laughs> it's Psalms 103 and 10. It says, He had he had not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Right. The Lord have not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. You know, he, he, get, he, uh, he rewarded us less than our iniquities deserved because what? Our iniquities deserve sin. The wages of sin is death. You know? So that's what we really deserve and we and we hear. And he putting that, that breath back into us, man. And he gave us that chance by sending his son that we may be uh, not perished, as we read earlier, you know? You know, so that's why we're bearing the indignation of the Lord. That's why we're still here and we keep pushing at day in and uh, week in and week out, man, until he come, you know? Hey, but Lord willing, that lesson was edifying. You know, and um, until the next lesson, we want to say shalom. shalom. shalom.